On behalf of the afternoon, I would like to welcome you home to the Hilltop. Uh, my name is Bill Reynolds. I'm a member of the college class of 1979, and I have the pleasure of serving you as executive director of the Alumni Association, as well as being an associate vice president for alumni relations in the annual fund. So welcome home. All right. <laughs> You guys are a great audience and we have a great program for you. Reunion weekend is such a wonderful time, not just for alumni, but also for the Alumni Association and the university as a whole. It is a time of celebration and coming together and catching up with old friends and an opportunity to rediscover what Georgetown means to us and a chance to learn about the many ways our alma mater is making a difference in the world. We welcome home alumni who have traveled from great distances to join us, alumni who span many generations and who have many, many memories of Georgetown. You may be joining us for your first reunion or your 55th, but for all of us, love of alma mater and our classmates is what binds us together and brings us home to the hilltop. I hope, I hope that you take advantage of the many wonderful faculty and alumni speakers who engage us in discussion around topics ranging from the costs of higher education, the decline of printed media, and the conflict in the Middle East, among many, many other programs we've put together for this weekend. Your journey of rediscovery of Georgetown today begins right now as faculty and deans have joined us to welcome you back home. So during this lunch, please join them in a conversation about your times, your days on the hilltop, as well as hear about what Georgetown is like today. And what I'd like to do is for the faculty and the deans who are, who are in the room to please stand and be recognized. I want to personally thank them for coming. They are the heart. They are the academic heart of this enterprise, and I really appreciate their being here with you today. Following the lunch, we are going to have an opportunity to hear from two leaders, University President John DeJoya and Ambassador Mark Dyball, a 1985 graduate of the college who also has a master's degree and an honorary degree from Georgetown University and is currently a member of our faculty. I would now like to invite Father O'Brien of the great class of 1988 and the Executive Director of Campus Ministry to come up and lead the invocation. Thank you, Bill. We are, on, on reunions like this, we realize how indebted we are to our good God who gathers us together. So as we begin this reunion weekend and our lunch and our conversation together, let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for so many blessings in our life particularly this weekend for the blessing of our friendship and our companionship in this university, this alma mater who gathers us together. We thank you for the blessings that you have before us, the food that you will give us. We ask you to bless all the hands who help bring it to our tables. We ask you to nourish us by this food in our companionship and conversation, to be of service to those most in need in our world. And we commend to your mercy and your care above all on this day where we consider the work of Ambassador Diable, the people in so many parts of the world who suffer from disease and illness, which are so preventable if we can be generous souls. And so inspire us to gratitude and generosity. We ask this always in the name of the good God we praise. Amen. Thank you, Father O'Brien. Uh, please enjoy your meal, and our program will begin uh, in about 40 minutes. So enjoy your meal. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. If I could have your attention, please. Good afternoon. I'd like to uh, continue with our program this afternoon. Uh, thank you very much. I have a friend in the audience. Thank you. Um, I would like to commence the programming now. Um, it is a great pleasure to introduce my classmate, our president, Jack DeJoya, who became president of Georgetown University in July 1st of 2001. Dr. DeJoya spent more than 33 years on the Georgetown campus as a student, an administrator, and as a faculty member. <laughs> we graduated together, I get it. <laughs> He, earned, he graduated with a degree in English in 1979 and earned his doctorate in philosophy from Georgetown's Graduate School in 1995. He has held a variety of positions in senior administration. Immediately prior to his appointment as president, Dr. DeJoya was senior vice president responsible 
for university-wide operations. Please join me in welcoming President DeJoya.